Today, I'm gonna to show you a free AI SEO content optimization tool. That is a one click tool you can use to optimize your content. As you can see right here, I'm gonna show you why it's beating tools that cost hundreds of dollars. And I'll give away the free step-by-step -step process to optimize your content in literally one click. Let's get straight into it. All right, so the tool that we're gonna be looking at is Zista, which is a free AI SEO content optimizer that you can use. Let me show you exactly how to get access to it. So you just go to sign in over here. And then from here, click on content optimizer once you're signed in. You can see I'm signed in with my email address. Then I'm gonna to go to content optimizer. And then from here, what I can do is I can put in a new query. I can select the client if I have a client on there. We can manually optimize or we can automatically optimize. Then we can put in the query, United States, American English for a new web page or optimize an existing web page. And from here, we can select which or how many number of Google results to analyze, right? So the main thing here is, let's say we're trying to rank for a keyword like in cat seat bananas, which I've always wanted to rank for. I'm, I'll be honest with you. I'm not going to lie to you, right? And so if we scroll down for this particular page, what you can see here is that we've got all of these pages that Google obviously likes. Now, if we had to manually click through to each of them, it would take a lot of time and it'd be very laborious and we'd probably get it wrong because we're humans with little chimp brains, right? Whereas, for example, if we use AI to do this for us and we automate the process, we save time. And normally, you know, you're going to be paying top dollar for a tool like Surfer SEO or Phrase or Neuron Writer, etc. But using a tool like this, you can get it for free. And so if we hit create page like so, based on the keyword that we want to rank for, so can cat see bananas. And I'll compare this to other paid tools in a minute for content optimization. But we'll hit create page from here. And then if we click on edit, what you can see here is that you can plug in your content that you've got ready to go for SEO. And once it's plugged in, we can check the score and get a content optimization score based on that content. Now, the key to understand here is like, if you don't understand why you would use content optimization tools, when you're writing content normally, you're writing for the user, right? But the thing is, if you wanna rank on Google as well or any sort of search engine, they're crawling your content. And so there's ways that you can optimize your content so that it's more contextually relevant to the keyword you're trying to rank for. As an example of a standard content creation workflow like this one, as you can see, and normally we would use a content outline method like this, but we can actually automate it using this prompt here by going into Claude, creating the content, as you can see, and it's going to generate the content. Like I say, the content for the actual user is pretty good. Like it's interesting. It's nice to read. Whether you're writing with a human or whether you're writing with AI, it's the same process, right? So for example, if you look at the title, the curious case of cats and bananas is not exactly a combo you'd expect, but here's the deal. Cats can actually eat bananas. The content itself reads really nicely. But the thing is, and I think a lot of people make this mistake, is like, you're not just writing for the user and you're not just writing a good piece of content. It has to be optimized. If you don't do both, if you don't write for the user and the search engine, it's not going to rank. That's where most people fall down because they're like, I've created this amazing article. It's better than everyone else's, but it's not ranking. Why is that? Usually because of a step like this. And so if we plug that content from Claude into Zista, Zista.com with the content optimization tool, which is free, as I've shown you, I'm not on a paid plan, then it's broken it down into like H1s, H2s, it's, form it's taken the same format in all the FAQs, etc. But we can check the actual optimization score right here to see how well optimized is this content. And you can see there's actually quite a long way to go in terms of content optimization because of this process. And by the way, if you're getting lost at any point, don't worry, I'll plug this all into an SAP so that you can follow the instructions step-by-step step along with this video to help you and you'll get all the prompts, tips, workflows, and steps in logical order from this video. And so just to recap, we found a low competition keyword. We plug that content into Zista. If you don't have any content, you can write it or generate it with a prompt like this. You take that prompt, plug it into Zista, and in one single click, you can figure out how to optimize it just by getting the relevant LSI and keyword. And so you can see here, on the right hand side, we don't just have a content optimization score. We don't just have a recommended word count, but we also have recommends on the LSIs to include. And so what I could do, and this is very rough. This isn't exactly how to do it, but this is what I'm just going to do for the purpose of this video, because I'm doing it in a video format live for you right now. What we can actually do is we can say, okay, great. Now write rest of the article using these LSI keywords, answer everything someone will possibly want to know on the topic. Don't duplicate previous content you've written because obviously it's already written half the article right here. And now we're going to write the rest of the article. And so what we've done is we've given it a prompt, we've given it a second prompt, and then 
We've got all the LSIs from Zista that it recommended to optimize it, and we'll plug that in like so. Now it's writing the content, as you can see right here, it's generating it, and it's a lot more comprehensive than the first article, which is great. And you can see the word count is actually a lot longer, which is also great because for this particular example, previously it was 306 words generated from Claude. Now we have 800 words just by using that extra prompting method that we talked about previously. And so now we're going to plug this content into Zista again. Let's delete that, plug that back in. Now we're going to hit check score again and see what it comes back with. And it's increased the content optimization score, but still we've got some way to go. And so what we can do is we can take a few of these LSI keywords. So I'm going to test this now. And again, first time I'm using this tool. So it's something that I'm experimenting with, but we're going to try a prompt like this. So we're going to say now write an extra part of the article, including relevant content using these LSIs in the content plus headings so that my SEO content is more comprehensive plus optimized towards my target keyword. Keep it relevant to the topic of the article. LSIs below, paste it in the LSIs. Let's see what it comes back with and see if we can boost that optimization score whilst keeping the content clean and tidy. So you can see it's blasting through some more content right here. It's nicely organized, easy to read, etc. And so what we'll do is we'll plug that into content. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it. I'm just showing you what can be done and how you can do it to give you some ideas. And now you can see the optimization score has increased again, right? And so using that iteration process with AI, you can easily generate some optimized content that's very comprehensive. The other thing that you can do, and this is probably faster once you've got the first draft of optimization, is you just edit it manually, right? And so you would edit it manually based on these LSI keywords, based on the recommended headings, the word count plus recommended headings here too, right? And also including some relevant images. And that way, we can optimize our content a lot better. Now, just in case you don't realize here, like 100% in the content optimization score over there is not guaranteed to help you rank on the first page of Google. It's just like a rough draft to figure out, okay, how contextually relevant is my content to the topic that I'm trying to rank for? And so you don't need to hit like 90 or 80% score to rank with this sort of tool. All you need to do is just use it as a kind of guideline to figure out, okay, what sort of keywords and what sort of LSI and what sort of semantically relevant keywords should I include in my content to help it rank better? That's basically it. So use a bit of common sense here and make sure it's not just hitting the content optimization score, but it's still useful for the reader as well. And I've documented both prompts that I use in this process, as you can see right here. Now, when it comes to images in the topic, you can see here recommends a bunch of images. My personal favorite right now is actually Grok. Grok, I think, creates the most realistic images if that's what you're after. So for example, we can put cat eating banana, especially since Grok 2 came out, because now you can generate very realistic images. Actually, if you're asking Grok to do it, just put create an image of cat eating banana. Now we have the cat eating the banana. Beautiful. We'll take that up here, plug it in there. We'll download that. And you can see how realistic the image is. Like, it's pretty cool if you ask me. Then from here, we can insert the image, which needs to be inserted with a link, as you can see. I think the best for that, that doesn't seem to be working for me at the minute. I won't BS you, but I think for that, you could probably host it on your website, something like that, and then it would be easier to pass. It doesn't seem to work with Google Drive or Grok links, etc. Maybe even if they're shared. But yeah, really interesting tool. Easy to optimize your content. You do it in one single click by clicking check score. They've got a right for me optimized content section here. I haven't tested it yet. I think you need to pay for that. Let's try. Yeah, so you need to pay for the pay plan for that. But if you want the free version like I've done today, then you can just click on check score. Bear in mind as well, in the content optimizer section, we'll hit save on that. Make sure you save your work before you leave it. But in the content optimizer section, you can also optimize an existing page, right? So if you've got a page that's not ranking, you can paste in the existing URL right there. And I think that's also good for just analyzing your competitors. Like you could have a look at your competitors content and then just go from there. Now, if you want to see, okay, how does this compare side by side with other tools that are paid? And by the way, if you don't have access to Grok because it is a paid tool, then you can use Flux, which is the image generator Grok actually uses. And that is free to get hold of. So if we go back to Phrase, here's an example of Kinkatsi Bananas with Phrase. We can compare it side by side versus Sister. So this is a paid tool. Phrase is a paid tool, kind of like Surfer SEO and other tools like that, or NeuronWriter. And you can see it analyzes the SERPs right here in the top right. And so in terms of optimization, this scores at 45%, this existing content here, which is a totally different article. And what we'll do is we'll plug that into that, as you can see right here, we'll hit check score and see how they compare side by side in terms of content optimization. And you can see it's very, very similar. 
right? So can cats eat bananas on phrase? This content right here is 45%. With the exact same content inside Sister, is 49%. So it's very similar in terms of the accuracy measurements, in terms of the LSIs and keyword optimization. The one thing that I would say, there are a few differences, but I would say, you know, phrase is a little bit more complicated. Whereas for example, inside Sister, this is much easier and it's free and it's simpler, which I always prefer anyway. So you can see how they compare side by side versus other tools. And it is absolutely amazing that it's free. And just to recap on the use cases. So there's five different use cases, right? So you can optimize new articles. You can improve your existing content. You can check your competitors' content. You can make sure your content is semantically relevant when search engines crawl it. And also it just saves time. It's a one-click optimization tool that's completely free. My notes would, you know, take it with a pinch of salt, right? So over-optimize articles, for example, if you were just trying to hit hundred percent score without thinking about the user, that's not going to help. So over avoid over-optimization and obviously content optimization, it doesn't beat backlinks. So for example, you can have the best content optimization in the world, but if you don't build backlinks and you can bet have, obviously it's going to be very hard to rank. And also just optimize for both the reader and make sure the actual content converts. Don't just write for the tool. Use your common sense, friends. So thanks so much for watching. What I'm actually going to do is I will take all the tips, all the templates, all the workflows, etc. You can see I've actually turned this into a step-by-step -step SAP right here with very detailed steps and examples of how to rank with it. We're going to take that link, plug it into my free SEO course, which comes with hundreds of tutorials, templates, and workflows. And inside the free SEO tool section, we we'll had a new section called Sister, and you'll find that link inside the free SEO tool section. Video notes right there. Now, if you want to get a free SEO strategy session about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales of SEO, feel free to book that in. That's based on what works for us and how we get millions of SEO traffic to multiple different SEO assets I own, plus how we do this for our competitors. You'll get a free SEO domination plan, to the secrets of link building, we'll answer any questions that you have one-to-one. -one. Normally, this would cost thousands of dollars, but we're giving it away for free. Links in the comments and description to get that. And thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.